Good evening. On behalf of the mayor and council, I'd like to welcome you to City Hall. Once a year, the mayor and council like to recognize the city employees who have reached certain longevity milestones of either five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 25, and even 30 years. This evening, we actually have a total of 64 employees who have reached one of those milestones. When you think about the fact that the city of, of Jacksonville government provides service, we have a tendency to think of that service in relationship to who our employee or what service our employee renders. Let me give you a couple of statistics. First of all, we have an annual budget of almost $100 million. We are a business. We may be called a government, but we are a business. We know that we get the money that we spend where? From you as a taxpayer, from rate payers who pay water and sewer, from recreation people who pay fees. We understand, though, that we are first and foremost service-driven, and we are a business. We have roughly 550 employees that work. I'm going to stress that word. They're not employed by the city. They work for the city. They work for us as taxpayers. They work for every citizen. Let me give you some statistics that come out of our annual report, which will be presented to the mayor and council in about a month. If you live inside the city, we have roughly 12,000 homes. We pick up garbage once a week. That's 52 times a year your garbage gets picked up. And likewise, 52 times a year we pick up recycling material. And about 46 times a year we pick up horticultural because obviously when we have a holiday we do not run all three services. That doesn't sound like a lot of service. Oh, 52 times a year. When you multiply it out though, the sanitation people that are going to be recognized tonight and their counterparts provide over 1.6 million, 1.6 million service calls to the residents of this city, not including commercial. Many of you are here tonight from sanitation. So if you're here tonight from sanitation, regardless of the category you're going to be recognized in, would you and your family stand up? Please stand if you're from sanitation. And Carrie, you can stand up even if you... <laughs> Thank you very much. We all see police cars, hopefully not in our rearview mirror. I think you know what that meant. But did you realize that the police department is on duty 24 hours a day, 365 days a year? When I'm home watching Clemson football, they're not. When you're home opening Christmas presents, they're not. The same with fire and emergency services. This past year, through the 911 center, we had 132,000 calls for service. 132,000 calls for service. We are a safe community. Can you imagine if we didn't have a quality police force, how many calls we would have beyond that? So if you're here tonight with the police department, whether you're a family member or a member of the police department, would you please stand to be recognized? Thank you. Fire and emergency services. One thing I learned a long time ago is that you never want the fire truck to leave the station. While you always want sanitation trucks to be out there, you don't want the fire truck to ever leave the station. The safest community in the world is a community that never has to call the fire department. This past year, we had 3,788 priority one calls. Over 60% of those are now medical calls. The mayor and council have stressed that what they want is a full 
emergency response team. While we do not carry people in ambulances, and maybe one day we will, we are always first on the scene, either police or fire, to every accident and police and fire for every type of heart attack or medical emergency. And yes, we still answer the cat in the tree call every now and then. If you're with fire and emergency services, would you please stand to be recognized? <laughs> Utility billing. While we get our tax bill in the mail once a year, utilities are billed monthly. They are billed in two fashions. We have meter readers who go out and install the meters that read the water. We have the same people who run, Sabrina, how many 56 routes? 49 routes. Well, I'm close enough. 49 routes every month. And from the work that the meter folks do, we produce utility bills. Bills go out once a month. And amazingly enough, in the course of a year between the metering department and the folks who are in the utilities billing area, we build a little over 229,000 bills and collect those bills. And we appreciate the fact that almost everyone pays their bill on time. Why? Because it's quality water, it's quality service. So if you're with metering or the finance area, that does the utility, would you all please stand and be recognized? Family members too, please. <laughs> Parades. We all like to go to a good parade. In just a couple of weeks, we're going to have the Veterans Day Parade, then we're going to have the Christmas Parade. Somebody says it's a holiday parade, but at my age, I still have the right to call it Christmas Parade. But this past year, we had a special parade. That special parade celebrated the 75th anniversary of the 2nd Marine Division. And boy, if you were in town, you saw 5,000 Marines march right down Main Street here in front of City Hall in one of the most impressive displays you'll ever have. But who put that on? Well, it was the Marine Corps who was marching. But guess who put it on? The city employees. So if you're a city employee and your department had anything to do with that parade, please stand and be recognized. Okay. Also this past year, we had the honor to complete the Beirut Memorial Grove. Many of you have lived in Jacksonville long enough to have been here on the day, October 23rd, 1983, when that happened. And you know that shortly thereafter, this community planted trees along 24. Over time, those trees needed to be replaced. I'm not going to say there were NC State drivers who hit all of them, but at the same time, at the same time, those trees aged, and it became time for a grove to be planted so really we could give proper recognition or additional proper recognition. Through the works of the Parks Department, the Finance Department, Transportation, and a lot of other folks, there is now a Beirut Memorial Grove has been planted. It is out here very close to the base from whence many of those Marines and sailors came from when they went to Beirut that day. Michael LaCroix and his folks planted 273 Chinese pistache trees and 650 knockout roses. And that is a great entrance to this city today, and I'm sure you have seen it. So if you had anything to do with that grove, would you please stand up? <laughs> the list of accomplishments go on and on because city employees work every day. Shortly, the mayor and council will receive their annual report. It will talk about finances, but more importantly, it will talk about accomplishments. And I will tell you, as your manager, I am proud to stand in front of you. I am proud to represent you every day. Now, with that, 
Tonight, we're going to recognize 64 people. Some are here. Some will not be here. I will call the names of those who are here. And after they've come up and received the congratulations of the mayor and certain council members, I will then also call the names of those who are not able to attend this evening. We will begin with the five-year group. Mayor, if you and Ms. Washington will come up, please. We'd also like to invite a young lady who is shadowing Ms. Washington this week. Her name is Tatiana Manguel. Tatiana, would you come up also? These are folks who began to work with the city in 2011, five years of service. There are 26 of them. Let me call those who are, who are here, or at least reported they would be here. Grant Beck, Wastewater Division. Please come forward. Leroy Darling, Sanitation Division. Gregory Eichler, Police Department. Dustin Goodwin, Sanitation Division. Megan Howell, Police Department. Darnell Jordan, Lines Maintenance. Jared Lofton, Police Department. Jeffrey McAllister, Police Department. Jason Miller, Police Department. Lisa Moran, Police Department. Franklin Myers, Lines Maintenance. Scott Spear, Police Department. Angie Stewart, Finance Department. John Taylor, Police Department. Michael Williams, Fire and Emergency Services. Also not with us this evening are the following people. Mickey Brinson, Finance, Matthew Crane, Parks and Recreation, Gabriel Davis, Engineering, James Foy, Water Supply, Robert Holt, Recreation, Ryan Jones, Police, Ashley Potter, Police, Wilson Summerlin, Police, Michael Toodle, Streets, Christopher Wilson, Police, and Jason Zolkowski, Police Department. These folks began in 2011. Let me tell you some things that went on in 2011. First of all, let's see. Um, you look like someone that enjoys music. Yes, sir. Okay. So what was the song of the year in 2011? Rolling in the Deep by Adele. And now he's going to give you a rendition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't want that to happen. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Come on up here. <laughs> um, price of a gallon of gas five years ago was what? Three fifty-two a gallon. Three dollars and fifty-two a gallon. So when you go out tonight and you see the price across the street is three fifteen or whatever it is, just be glad we're not five years ago. Thank you. On the space scene. Space Shuttle Discovery had its final flight. The Space Shuttle Discovery had its final flight. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? We've lived, or at least I have, lived through from the first Space Shuttle to the last, five years ago, the last one. Thank you. All right, who's the next? Come on up. This was a world event that obviously was not positive. Japan. Tsunami, 130-foot wave, 16,000 killed. Yep, it's amazing. Okay. And of the rest, who, you look like a computer guy. Come on up here. Let's, this will work. Okay. Read these next two, since you look you know, IT-ish. <laughs> Apple founder Steve Jobs dies, and Google released the Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. How about that? Now... Five years ago, I thought an ice cream sandwich was something you ate. Apparently, it's something you do something else with. Okay. Who was in the military? Please come up. Good to see you today. Thank you, sir. Read this one right here. Five years ago, U.S. troops leave Iraq. Thank goodness. Let me read that. Kate Middleton? Well, why not? Sure. Kate Middleton and Prince William are married. All right. <laughs> 
These are things that happened five years ago. Now, let's have a group photo. Uh, why don't y'all come up? Let's have form two lines. And lady, come up here in the front. And you come up here in the front. What we all, you got to fill in here. Okay, can you get good shots there? Anybody wants to come up, just get out of your seat and come right on up, please. Now, the individual certificates that recognize these uh, awards is get, they are given in front of their departments so their fellow employees can see them. In the former days of doing this, we would pass these out. We felt it appropriate, though, for them to receive them in front of their colleagues. So thank you very much. Ten years ago was 2006. My, my, how time goes by. In the 2006 group, 10 years of service, we have 19 people. As I call your name, please come forward. Sabrina Adams, Finance. Willie Baker, Police. Nick Beringer, Recreation and Parks. Henry Bryant, Sanitation. Percy Sevis Lines. Percy, there you are back there. Percy has his whole family with him tonight. Three children, his beautiful wife. Uh, Carolyn Critton, police. Tracy Dobson, police. Michael Gallinger, sanitation. Was Michael. Daniel Gallardo, police. Sean Hayes, fire. I guess we have to call you now chief. Chief Sean Hayes. Phil Jones, Finance. Feel good to see you tonight. Richard Kellum, Police. And then standing with the council tonight is Michael Lazaro, who's also been with us for 10 years. These are your 10-year recipients. Not with us tonight are Billy Kramer in Streets, Benjamin Frank, Fire and Emergency Services, Daniel Mace, Wastewater, Copeland Mills, Police, James Tedrick, Sanitation, Deanna Tribble, Engineering. Okay. Looks like you're closest, so you're up. <laughs> Ten years ago was 2006. Now, just for the record, Sabrina was just getting out of elementary school at that time. <laughs> and she will remember this song. So what's the song of the year? Bad Day by Daniel Powder. I have no clue. I thought a bad day was some. That was actually a, a song. song. You sing about having bad days. Okay. Uh, let's see, who is into, who is into uh, technology? Who wants to come up and do the technology? <laughs> How are you? All right, what does this say? Google buys YouTube for how much money? $1.65 billion. It's amazing. Ten years ago, Google bought YouTube for $1.65 million. Wow. I should, I should have rehearsed it. You know. We should have uh, gotten some of that $1.6 million. <laughs> That's right. That's it. Good. All right, who's okay. into space? Good job. Who's into space? Nick, come on up here into space. All right, this is a space uh, launch. Mm -hmm. NASA launches New Horizons probe to Pluto, arrived July 2015. Can you imagine that? They launched it in 2006. It got to Pluto at 2015. That's what I call a long date. Okay. <laughs> Who was in the military? <laughs> All right. All right. Saddam Hussein found guilty against humanity and hung. Yeah. 2006. Now, who watches TV? <laughs> Henry? Come on up here. So I knew I would need these. Yeah, okay. 
The top TV show in 2006 was a 30-minute sitcom called... My name is Earl. <laughs> this is the group for 10 years of service. Ma'am, did you get, everybody got them? Okay, good. Thank you all very much. In the 15-year group, we have eight persons, two of whom are not with us this evening. I'd like to ask Timothy Carr, police, Lee Humphrey, finance, Terry Polk, sanitation, Chris Richardson, lines maintenance, Daniel Wells, police, And also, Jerome Willingham, 15 years of service. Very good. Not with us this evening were Ricky Burt, Lines Maintenance, Alan Shepard, Fleet Maintenance. Now, you notice the, uh, the pool of readers gets smaller. Okay. Uh, 15 years ago was 2001. <laughs> yeah, believe me, counting backwards is hard. It's a, Lee, come on up here. You've been known to dance in your life, right? Mm, not much. So the song of the year was what? Fallen by Lisa Keys. Anybody remember that song? That's yeah, a good song. Okay, let's see. Terry, come on up here. <laughs> Terry does a lot of our bookkeeping, so she'll really appreciate oh. this next one. How much was a gallon of gas? Oh, wow. A dollar forty-six. A dollar forty-six. That would be nice. So when you go out tonight, you know, <laughs> anyway. Now, either one of y'all serve in the military? You did. Please come up. 2001. Attack on the World Trade Center. And the Pentagon, U.S. declares war on terrorism. Hard to believe it's been 15 years. Okay. Now, this is really appropriate. A police officer who's going to read something about NASCAR. <laughs> NASCAR drive, uh, excuse me, NASCAR driver Dale Earnhardt killed in wreck at Daytona. 15 years ago. And then in addition to that, for you folks who really get into uh, computer, did you realize that Wikipedia went online 15 years ago? And that Apple released the iPod. Pretty amazing, 15 years. This is the group, 15 years of service. Come on up and bring your cameras right up here and, and get some good pictures. Mr. Humphrey, come on up here and get a good picture of
For the next two groups, the 20, 25, and 30-year group, I'd like to ask all of the council members to come down to congratulate this group. So if you would, please. In the 20-year group, we have five persons to be recognized. From the police department, James Capps. From Fire and Emergency Services, Christopher Ronick. From Police Department, Philip Williams. Not with us this evening. From Engineering, Stephen Michael Moore. And from Fire and Emergency Services, Robert or Bob Jackson. Now. <laughs> well, let, let me let me read let me read some of the things that that happened <laughs> locally. We actually opened our land treatment site, seven thousand four hundred acres, where we get rid of our water and sewer. That was twenty years ago, and roughly twenty years ago. We opened the commons. Think of a difference that those two activities have made in the life of this community. Very similar to what we're now facing, it was 20 years ago that Hurricane Fran and Hurricane Bertha hit Jacksonville. And let's hope and pray that Matthew has no interest in coming our way. In addition to that, we have a group activity we're now going to do. And guess who is going to lead this group activity? I heard a council member who actually knows something. So, Ms. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this the ECU version? I, and Tatiana, since you're shadowing her, yes. <laughs> everybody in the audience, stand up. Because 20 years ago, the song was Hit It Media. <laughs> Well, after that, all I can say is this is your 20-year group, folks. <laughs> Five years ago, 1991, boy, it sounds like it, it was only yesterday, we have three employees that were recognized in tonight for 25 years of service. Alan Baker, Facility Maintenance. Wow. Wow. Gregory Williams, Fire and Emergency Services. I'm not sure he was able to be here. And then Philip Arnold. I know Phil had a previous engagement with recreation and parks. You know, when you think of 25 years ago, it's an easy word to say. 25 years of getting up every day, being dedicated to the same cause. And I will tell you, this man is dedicated. What you may not realize is he has at least two buildings that are under his responsibility. 
That's two in addition to the almost, what, 140 others that you have. So, you know, these are employees who make a difference every day to the other employees. And we, we really appreciate it. Let me read some of the things that happened in 1991. And Alan is going to come up and sing this song for you. <laughs> come on up. You, you'll actually know the words to this song. And the reason why he knows the words of this is this is what he does every day. So what's the name of the song? Everything I do, I do it for you, Brian Adams. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh. Now, read the rest of these. A gallon of gas is a dollar and twelve cent. The Dow stock market, 3168, first time over 3,000. Operation Desert Storm begins to drive Iraq out of Kuwait. Microsoft releases MS-DOS 5.0. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing about? I still use that. I mean, what's the issue here? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty years of service. John Reed, Fire and Emergency Services. Yeah. John. Yeah. Jill Puff, Wastewater Division. In the police department, David Bledgy, who is not with us this evening, but let's give him a round of applause. Also. Okay. John? <laughs> now this, this, you think the last song was, was appropriate. Remember, Firefighters like to be on calendars. They're everybody's best friend. So what was the song 30 years ago? That's What My Friends Are Doing by Diana Warwick, Gladys, <laughs> and Elton John. Yep, that's, that's What Friends Are For by Diana War Dion Warwick, Gladys Knight, and Elton John. And if you know what police officers and firefighters are, that's what friends are for. Right, John? Right. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Jill. Gas was 89 cents a gallon. <laughs> uh, the stock market was 1895, and the Space sh Shuttle Challenger exploded shortly after takeoff for Kennedy Space Center. Now, here is one that all of us either are glad happened or wish it had never happened. The Internet Mail Access Protocol, whatever in the world that is, the Internet Mail Access Protocol was defined opening the way for email as we know it today. So when you get home and you hear that thing go bing, 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 just go back in time to 1985, you wouldn't have to worry about it because it hadn't been invented. Jill? Thank you. I know many city employees came tonight to support their other employees. So if you are a city employee, whether you're recognized or not, would you please stand? All city employees stand. In closing, I would like to leave you with this one thought. People make a difference. Service is delivered every day by individuals. We are blessed to have these 550 city employees working for this community every day. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>